so with today's vlog we're going to be making moi moi as you can already tell so moi is a traditional nigerian meal made from beans and rich in protein you may call it steamed bean cake or bean pudding depends on your preference of english i also have a special treat in store for you today like i'll be giving you, i'll be giving you a story time gist of how i made parfait for my mother in love. love for the first time and a reaction let's just say mm. things got really interesting mm -hmm. Will it be a never again or a try again experience? Stick around yeah. to find out. Find out. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this. So I'm going with what I have: with fish, maggi sauce. Also, I used bean flour. Anyway, if it sounds like I'm whispering, <laughs> cause. I know I'm not shouting right now. Currently midnight. Not midnight. So it's going to be like a chilled vlog, guys. So please, you must watch till the end, okay? Almost forgot on yours. So here yeah, goes. Then I'm going to stir everything together. Before then, there's this moimoi um, pan, like all the small small pan that you can use to cook moimoi. There's also the um, foil type or maybe nylon, whichever one or leaves. Of course, leaves is the most popular. But I don't have this right now, and I cannot even use it. So <laughs> this what I I make two of what I have basically. So as you can see, I already like kind of greased that pan. It with like butter a little margarine just to make um so it's going to be easy for it to come out when when the moi moi finally gets done and i mean what's a saturday morning without moi moi in an african home in a nigerian home what saturday morning is either moi moi in custard or akara akara is bean cake they are both made from beans so yeah put in the um pot by the time I finished cooking this morning, you guys, it was very delicious as you can see. I enjoyed it and of course we couldn't finish it, right? So I had to like like batch it and then you know keep it in the freezer. <laughs> then you know most times maybe on sunday what if you have like leftovers then you can you know like sit on sunday or maybe next time so i kept it in the freezer and then you know my prayer bits and then we had it bread for sunday you can also have it with gary anyways so once upon a time <laughs> that's how i made coffee this day as a wonderful host that i am and a sweet daughter in law uh, of course i made other meals but i decided to make this special dessert i think it was the first time having coffee first thing first let's see what we need for this delicious parfait. i majorly use sweetened 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 <laughs> sweetened yogurt you guys so yeah i actually go for greek yogurt most time or if i can't get a hold of it then i go for this other flavor that i can see on the screen I use this ingredient. You got other ingredients as you can see from the screen, coconut flakes and the light. I actually filmed a video, captured the making process, but I lost the clips to my hard drive. So now let's dive into this scrumptious parfait. You just basically like you know mix everything together. You can base your cup with coconut flakes, then add the yogurt, then add other ingredients, and then add the yogurt again. And then start as simple as that. You can easily find it on YouTube or just Google how to make parfait. And now the moment we have been waiting for, I present to you. <laughs> so she actually loved it. But the big question is, is it a never again or a try again experience? Mm. You guys, let's just say it's definitely a try again because she absolutely loved and enjoyed it. So 
Hello guys and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Today is going to be like sitting down in the car and just with you guys. And I'm just going to be doing a car chat. As you can see from the title, I'm going to be having a guest with me very soon. She's not here yet. She'll be here anytime soon. But before she come, I just want to, you know, give brief introduction of what the video is about and the likes. So, welcome to my vlogs. My beautiful... Why are you eyeing? They're not even seeing your face yet. <laughs> this is my sister you guys i'm sure you must have seen her so many times on this channel but there she is so she's welcome back to this channel okay so in this video i just get to be having a chit chat eight freaking years that's like almost 10 years older than this madam that is sitting down beside me but there are some peculiar things that happen like between us first of all do we do we look alike you guys no whatever she looks like me because she she want to look like me but anyways the way she's sitting there if you guys see a full body hey she's anyways exaggerated. i'm exaggerating no problem i'm going to be talking about pretty privilege and you know gen z versus millennial like how we relate to all these issues without so much ado let's just jump right into the video first of all let me explain what pretty privilege is so as the name implies pretty privilege is like privilege attached to somebody that is pretty that's the simple term it, that it is but in a deeper context it means like I, I would like to time it natural advantages you know capabilities or or strength things that you have that maybe is like more than the other person i mean life is not fair okay and life is not balanced so there are some things that you have that other persons don't have and vice versa so in in one way we can say that you have an you have a comparative advantage over the other person so that's like basically what pretty privilege is about and it can span in different uh, you know different areas from you know talking about maybe gender man versus woman you can have pretty privilege play out in there everybody is beautiful okay let me put that disclaimer because i know some people know too much that but we cannot deny the fact that life is not balanced this life is not balanced so there are some people that are more beautiful than the other just the way we have things that maybe some people are taller than another you can't dispute that fact it's glaring right so everybody have their own specialties and stuff person is admirable more than another somebody that you know you see that is prettier than another person you tend to give the person more advantage two babies for example like maybe two children maybe one you see that this person this child is neat and you know pretty than the other one that maybe is not well taken care of and maybe is not looking so good you will definitely be attracted to want to carry the one that you feel that is admirable and fine and you know all groomed up so that's basically i believe with that few points you really can get what pretty privilege is all about so that being said i'll be comparing my sister's you know experiences and maybe lifestyle and both of us shall i'm going to be comparing both of us together using generation versus generation if you don't generations by generation are grouped into generations the most recent generation is the gen z right now them exactly they are representing okay so so far the the pretty privileges i've noticed between my sister and hi so the okay the first one that one that always gets me like every time is the fact that gen z they always look older than the millennials do you agree sure. they are always looking older than the millennials just take a look at your them younger brothers or sisters me for example like all my siblings she's the last born from the second born to her they are all taller than me number one they are all bigger than me you guys <laughs> so they always look old way older than you know for the most part actually majority they look older than you you see maybe um someone of 23 years old 25 years old looking like <laughs> i mean you get so you are wondering <sighs> i don't get it as in, I, they are feeling like, what's it, what exactly is going on here? Like, I don't believe this person is this. So, yeah, they always look older. You know, when we have it. These are, these are the issues. <laughs> Anyways, I remember the time I wanted to get married. My church wedding, why preparing for that? It's because of where I work then. So, I don't really go to our church at home. So, I do more of the church at the place where I work. So, it's just when I come home that I also attend our own church. So, but I mean, if, if you want to get married, you know that as a lady, you are going to do it in your own church, right? So, I can't remember. So, um, one of the pastors, I know that the pastor asked me, he was like, how old am I that wants to get married? <laughs> Like, as in, I don't, you know, as in, I don't know if it was a joke or this or, or that. He didn't really recognize me, but it was like, he looked so serious. Like, how old am I? down to get my leg. I'm just, I, I was just like, oh well, I'm 18. <laughs> it was just funny. So I think maybe he thought it was, I was my sister. 
Oh, it was so funny that day. I'm just like, are you, are, are you playing? <laughs> Is you playing? Oh, there are some things that men do. Okay. That there are some things that men do. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more exciting content. Mm -hmm. TY Vlogs. Okay. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss a tasty update. Also, share with me in the comment section if you've tried this recipe before. Also, like maybe any experience making special meals for your loved ones. Until next time, keep spreading the love one recipe at a time. At a time. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. You did